All right, and Michaela's singing means that we are back in the lobby bar for the week of April the 3rd, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you as always. And Michaela, uh, it is spring break week for a lot of people, uh, yourself included, uh, coming up at the end of this week. So uh, I don't know. Happy spring break out there to everyone. Uh, do you have any travel plans? You going somewhere sunny and tropical, getting out of town for a bit? Or Yeah, I'm going to spend a few days at the beach, I think. going to take the kiddo um, where you are heading out and meeting some other school friends and I'm going to sit and look at the ocean and contemplate world peace and life. And I'm going to drink something with a, with a umbrella. I want, I want like some, a funny, like a big, <laughs> like umbrella drink, maybe with like a, I don't know, some sort of fruit piece of fruit sticking out oh. of it. You know, oh, okay. I, I'm definitely, I don't know, because here it's still a little cool. So I'm hoping that it's a little warmer uh, where where we're going to mm. be, um, yep. because I'm I'm ready. I think uh, winter has has been has been, you know, we have we have shed that winter coil. I'm ready for some sunshine, and what better way to to celebrate the the start of of a spring summer season than with a daiquiri, which is amazing because i've never really known how to make just a regular daiquiri until like right now that's right yeah absolutely so uh you're going off to the beach to have fun uh drink tropical fruity drinks i'm gonna be at home uh not uh doing any beach type of things but i can make myself a daiquiri um and a, a real honest to goodness actual daiquiri um, it's very simple. Uh, it's very easy. It's perfect for your weeknight uh, lobby bar type of a drink. Um, it's one of the like the original like six classic cocktails that you need to know how to make. So uh, this one's perfect. And, um, you know, the devil's in the details. You want to be really kind of precise with this and uh, mix it up. And then it's it's refreshing and um, has this uh, citrus and or in the rum. Uh, it's it's so delicious. Michaela, normally you go to like a resort and you get a daiquiri and it's like some big frozen blended thing. Like you said, it has like fruit sticking out of it and stuff. This is this is the classic. This is Ernest Hemingway's uh, daiquiri right here. So what you're going to do into your shaker tin, uh, you're going going to do two ounces of light rum, one ounce of lime juice uh, from a lime, uh, and then a half an ounce uh, of a simple syrup, or you could use like Demerara uh, simple syrup if you want to uh, go that route. Uh, Demerara syrup is just an unrefined kind of a raw uh, cane sugar uh, sugar that you'd find, you know, down in the Caribbean. So that flavor pairs really nicely, but uh, just regular simple syrup is going to work for you too. All that stuff into your shaker tin, shake it with some ice, strain it into a lovely uh, coupe glass. You can garnish it with a little uh, lime wheel if you feel so inclined. You don't have to. You could leave it uh, leave it off uh, to the side if you want. Um, but then you're going to sip and enjoy and pretend that you're in uh, some tropical destination celebrating spring break while you're stuck at home like myself. Uh, watching a bunch of movies, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's the sacrifice that I'm willing to make. So Michaela, uh, the original daiquiri, what do you think about this? What do you think this... about these, uh, these classic cocktails, right? We need to, we need to get back to the classics every once in a while. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, so like I said, I have had like a strawberry daiquiri and a banana daiquiri and a, all sorts of things, right? All sorts of flavors of daiquiri, but I don't think I've ever had just the plain daiquiri. And this is, I say plain, but this is anything but plain. It's, got layers of complexity in it, especially depending on the kind of rum that you get. I mean, you mm -hmm, you said mm -hmm. light rum, but I imagine that if you're really into rums, you could do a lot of cool things with the type of rum um, and, and sure, kind of, yeah. you know, shake this up a bit. Um, the simple serve versus the Demerara, you know, I think the Demerara adds a really beautiful, like caramely almost mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. kind of mouthfeel to this drink, um, it's beautiful. It definitely can, you can still put a fruit in it if you want, but you definitely uh, should get a little umbrella because, I mean, they're just so cute. And they make really fun little, like, pinwheels <laughs> that you can put on your ear later. True, and you can true. Them. You know, um, this is really exciting to me because I, I most of the time what we think of as daiquiri is really just like a, a fruit slushy with a little, with a shot of rum in it or something. Right. And this That's is right. much more yeah. refined. Um, I feel like uh, Hemingway would be very proud of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Hemingway would be proud of us, but, but yeah, you can, like you said, Michaela, you can jazz this up, but it's important to know uh, kind of the fundamentals of, of making a really good cocktail. So do this, uh, give a daiquiri a try and let us know, let us know what your favorite 
uh, twist on a daiquiri is out there as you're having something good in the lobby bar, or maybe you're on your own spring break uh, this week. But, you know, even if you're going on spring break, Michaela, it still me might be worth your time to go out and see a movie. That's what a lot of people were doing this last week. We had Dungeons and Dragons rolled a uh, plus five for attack power uh, and took the weekend. It made $38.5 million, followed by John Wick, uh, dropped from first to second, $28 million. Uh, His Only Son, Scream 6, and Creed 3 round out the top five. But uh, Dungeons & Dragons, no surprise that it uh, took the weekend. Um, But uh, $40 million, that's pretty good. Pretty good return on that. The story is... Uh, Getting pretty good feedback. I'm kind of interested to see Dungeons & Dragons. We talked about it a little bit last week, but uh, what are you hearing out there, Michaela? Honor Among Thieves. What do you think? Yeah, I've heard it's actually pretty good. Um, A bunch of my friends who are gamers, um, like True, they they played D&D, and then a bunch of other kind of uh, offshoots of D&D. They say that it's quite charming, and it's um, very true to like the character development. I've heard a lot of great things about uh Regé Jean Page. I, I'm not sure exactly mm. how to say his name, but um he was in Bridgerton and he's the, he's he the left- Bridgerton gentleman. So I yes. imagine that uh, he's probably getting a fair <laughs> amount of good feedback from yeah. uh, people out there, yeah. I guess. But so. but not but not just him. I mean Sophia Lillis, Chris Pine. I mean, I, I've 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 heard pretty good things. I am sad that we didn't get to see it its first week out, uh, you and me, because we were busy uh, watching John Wick Four and uh, mm. adding that to our Patreon site. So if you're interested in hearing our take on John Wick Four, please join our Patreons um, group. But uh, I think I might go ahead and do like a matinee to see this because. I think okay. that it's probably going to be very nice on the big screen. I've heard that it's very colorful. I don't know yeah. how um, it'll be. I, I don't, I haven't heard that the special effects are like awe filling or anything like that. So I, I don't know how, it, how, how good it is that way, but I've heard that it's fun on the big screen. So maybe we should check uh-huh. back it out. Maybe we should check it out, but it's going to be tough to squeeze that in, Michaela, because we've got some other uh, new releases coming this week. Uh, make quick mention of this. I hadn't heard of it on a wing and a prayer. Um, that's Amazon's doing that. I think it's coming to theaters and onto uh, your Amazon uh, Prime that is starring Dennis Quaid and Heather Graham. Uh, so go check that one out. Let us know what you think about that. Uh, but two others that I'm very excited about, uh, Michaela. The first one is Air. It is the story of uh, Nike and uh, Michael Jordan and how that crazy conglomerate of world dominating uh, space took over. Um, this, this is something I don't know about you, Michaela, but this is something that's very interesting to me because we're both of, of that age where Michael Jordan was, was the, the shining star of the whole world. Um, you know, back that, you know, in the late eighties, early nineties, uh, the Chicago Bulls. So this story is, is really, really interesting to me, but even more interesting than the story, which I find very fascinating. Uh, It's directed by Ben Affleck. So of course it stars uh, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, uh, Jason Bateman is in this. uh, Viola Davis is in this. uh, Chris Tucker. Uh, This, this is uh, probably going to be one we're going to be talking about later in the year too, but I don't know. Air, Michaela, what do you think about, what do you think about this? You know, so I think that Ben Affleck gets a lot of slack um or a lot of flack is that the word yeah a lot of flack um because he directs a film and then he has to insert himself in it yeah he's not a bad actor he's a pretty good actor i actually really like his directing uh prowess he he made argo which is arguably one of the best films of the last 20 years really really great film um that we covered here at drink the movies so I, i'm excited to see this It'll be interesting to me. I love Viola Davis. Oh my gosh, anything she touches is amazing. Um, Chris Tucker, he's hilarious. I, I'm I'm excited to see this film. I have to tell you, um, I am more excited by the fact that, that it is kind of this biographical sports drama around Nike <laughs> than I am just like the air, like the the Jordan story mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. I'm really bad at basketball. I'm really bad at sports. In fact. Uh, I come from a town called San Antonio, Texas. We have the Spurs. And I thought um, that Mr. Jordan was a member of the Spurs for the longest time. Wow. I Rather than the Chicago Bulls. I know. I, I'm <laughs> wow. really. Yeah. So I was always like, I, I want like we would have Dennis Rodman, who was huge at the time. He would come to like schools and be like, don't do drugs and get your homework done. And I was like, 
why isn't Michael Jordan doing this? I mean, he's so much of a bigger, <laughs> he's so big, or he's so much bigger as far as a star. And my dad had to be like, so there are things called teams and mm. he doesn't live in Texas. Anyway, um, that is a, that is a lot of shade at David Robinson. Uh, one of the all time. Right. He's right amazing. There. Oh my gosh. That, yeah. yeah. So this is, you it really is a bunch you, of shade on me for not knowing what the heck basketball is and how it works. So you, I'm really you, looking forward to seeing this because they yeah. hate me. Mm. Yeah, you dropped the ball there, Michaela. We're going to get I together. Did. We're going to watch some Bulls highlights. We'll go see Air. And then after we see that, we're going to go see Super Mario Brothers. Uh, that's coming. Uh, who did that? DreamWorks? Imagination? I don't know. I should have looked that up. Uh, but Super Mario Brothers is coming to the big screen. I'm very excited about this. It's going to be a cartoon telling of Super Mario Brothers stories. Uh, you know, grew up with Michael Jordan. Also grew up with that original Nintendo. So very excited about this. We're going to be talking about it on the main show uh next week so uh stay tuned for that we've got a couple of really fun cocktails including a very delicious uh milkshake coming your way for super mario brothers so uh you definitely want to make sure you uh get out and see that and uh be prepared for uh our regular episode on that next week but uh michaela this week we're going to be talking about singing in the rain you know we 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 covered john wick uh too much that was that was too much <laughs> chaos um and assassinating uh so, so this week we're going back, going back to the roots of uh, of singing in the rain on the main show. So uh, stay tuned for that. But I don't know, Michaela, you are headed out of town for spring break. I am headed out to the liquor store to get some rum so I can make myself a daiquiri. And we're going to have to do that. And we'll talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.